What's up, y'all? Um, this is going to be a very simple, straightforward video. How do you mod on multiplayer of State of Decay 2? Now, this is um, a modder that you can use while in game. There is a community editor that you can only use when you exit the game, but this is while you're still in the game. So it works in both your own community and in other survivors' communities. Like if you're on a friend's community, if you join a group post on Xbox and you're in someone else's community, this will work in both of them. Uh, but use this at your own risk because there are risks of crashes. There are risks of a lot of lagging. So use this at your own risk, okay? Um, as you guys can see up here, Hades mod menu is, I mean, it's the one I have most experience on. And this is not the only video on YouTube, but... I titled this video so that more people could find it because when I searched for it, I couldn't find it. I had to figure it out on my own. And now I'm telling you guys so you guys don't have to go through all the loops I had to go through. But anyway, uh, Hades Mod Menu, it's very straightforward. Um, here are a couple pictures from the website you can get it from of what it looks like right when you open it. Uh, it gives you multiple cheats, menus, item spawners, uh, vehicles, uh, editors. Uh, our vehicle right here, a teleport menu. I haven't used that one, but most of these I have used. You can even spawn zombies. You can repair. You can refuel cars. Uh, you can change uh, multiple aspects of your characters. On the community editor, a lot of these things you're not able to do, uh, such as spawning zombies, uh, such as teleporting. Um, but there are a lot of things that it gives the haze gives you that the community editor doesn't. But again, use this at your own risk and do not um tamper with the game too much because usually the more you mod a game, the less fun it is, and the more you're gonna want to go to a different game because it gets too boring to play. So um Haze mod menu, uh I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to download it. It's very straightforward. Um, you can see Hayes Mod Mini, the picture up here. Here's the download button down here. Uh, it's a manual download. You just push that. And right when this opens, uh, again, there are other videos that describe this, but just for the purpose of you guys finding this video, um, you do have to have Stay Up De Decay 2 Mod Manager. Um, it's just something small that kind of compiles the files and sorts them out for you um, to make sure that they go into the game. I think that's what it is. I haven't really looked at it much. I downloaded it and just had it so I could download Hades. Uh, but yeah, you do have to download this. It's the same process as Hades. Um, I won't describe the download process. I'm just telling you where to go and what you should do for this. Uh, but yeah, you go ahead and push manual download. It'll pro it'll take, it might take like a couple of seconds. Just push a slow download. Uh, once you get to the next screen, there's going to be fast and there's going to be slow. The fast one usually um, uh, it asks you to, you know, go to the next level of the promotion on the website, which is money costing. But if you have a fast computer like me, or even if you have like a laptop that you play this on on like low graphic settings, uh, you'll still be able to download it pretty pretty damn fast. So you don't need to even touch that fast download button. Let's push the slow download button. Uh, it may take a little bit for the download button to uh, pop up in the bottom uh, left-hand corner of the screen. So let's go ahead and push that through, and then open up the file. Uh, you, you like right-click on it; it'll tell you that you can um, open the file where it is on your desktop. Once you got it open, put it wherever you can remember it. Here, let me let me just show you guys. Uh, usually, it will always pop up in your downloads. Uh, you can see I have community editor in here um, and probably a bunch of other stuff. But say this is what the Hades mod menu editor. Um, I just I actually put all of my uh, saved ones or my the Hades mod menu in a new folder in my storage in my uh, external storage. I never really unplug it from my PC. Um, and you can, I made a separate file on that storage and named this State of Decay 2 Mods. And I just dragged it from the downloads into the mods folder. So I had everything organized in there. Now, not everything, not all my mods are in here, but the main ones I use now are in here. See, uh, this is what it will look like Hayes Mod Menu. And when it pops up in the downloads, but you won't see uh, Hayes Mod Menu, the pack. 
the, the file or in you won't see the mod integrator the mod integrator is the other download that you were supposed to download before you get haze the one i told you about the first time uh but once you download both of them you can drag mod manager and haze mod menu into a separate folder or you can keep it in your downloads um then you have to actually extract them like push extract here um i would do this i would only extract here once you put it in a separate folder you can sort everything out and not in your downloads folder because then it's going to just be a little hectic trying to find everything and it's just easier to put them in a separate folder so you know where all your mod things are uh but you can extract here wherever you are and once you extract here you get the mod integrator spot where you can open it up and you can do the same thing for haze uh go ahead and extract here and it'll um put a separate uh haze mod menu and then once you get the mod integrator in here we'll open that up real quick you guys can see my desktop so you'll be able to see everything this is what it'll look like right in here i obviously already have everything i need all the already in here but all you have to do is go um like like separate these two put your file over on one side of the screen and uh mod manager on the other side what you want to do i already have everything in here so i won't actually do it myself but i will show you um you want to go to the haze mod menu the the little file not the not the uh the when rare um file uh that you'd have to extract you want to go to this one right here you click it and you want to drag it right into here and just place it in there now usually when you do that um it'll go ahead and make the mod integrator file and the haze mod menu file it should do them both automatically once you put the haze mod menu in there uh but if it doesn't you, you'll, you should be able to do it when you uh create integration pack after you put the haze mod menu in there all right guys we're in the game now i'm going to go ahead and go into campaign uh but this this uh haze mod menu does work in daybreak heartbreak or heartland and um the campaign so it doesn't matter which one you go into um but you want to go into either continue game or manage communities uh this is your own community it does work again in any of the communities you go in yours or someone else's uh but we're gonna go ahead and go into vanguard so you guys can see in there all right so you guys just saw the welcome that's a little annoying uh but anyway yeah these are all like multiplayer rewards i've been playing with other people recently um anyway what you want to do as soon as you get in here uh i don't have any zombies near me so i'm quite safe um what i would do if i were you since you just first got this go ahead and push the pause screen up i'm on multiplayer so it's not going to actually uh pause for me but you want to push f9 on your keyboard this is for pc only i don't know anything about uh console modding on there but on your keyboard push f9 and the menu will pop up for you and i have my truck over here uh so you, can, you guys can see that uh, i guess um but say i wanted to teleport somewhere i've actually never used this so i won't i won't mess with it and i got a feeling i might crash the game so again fair warning for everyone who doesn't know how to use this um uh, if you don't know the coordinates i wouldn't use this i would go other things uh there are multiple menus on this so i won't go too much into this the main parts that i actually use are the vehicle menu like say my car is super beat up and i don't have any meds and i'm kind of dying um and the fuel's low all i do if you're you don't even have to be in your vehicle if you're right in front of your vehicle you can repair all vehicles and you can refuel all vehicles so it'd be completely repaired and complete it'll be it kind of gradually refuels the more you push refuel all uh but you'll if you just push it once or twice you should be good to go to drive to your uh safe zone or your community uh but other than that if you're next to uh one of your outposts or if you're in your community uh and say you want to get more ammo uh you go to item spawner scroll down a little bit uh you can spawn ammo there are multiple variants of ammo if you don't know what your ammo is go to whatever gun you need to get ammo for and look at where it is up here um where you have the numbers highlighted on the top of the item screen it's no matter what you're doing on here like if you spawn a melee weapon a close combat weapon this is telling you how many you want to spawn like right now the default is that one so you only want to spawn one kill book that's just an example um i'm spawning ammo so i usually put it at 40 
and it'll automatically put 40.0. I go down and then I go push um, the ammo that I want. Let's say I want 50 AP round. That's usually what my, um, my sniper needs. Um, and then you can just push spawn ammo. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to, but if you push spawn ammo uh, two or three times, it, it'll, you got plenty of ammo, bro. Trust me. Um, if you don't find it in your inventory for whatever reason, there's a chance it might go in the trunk of one of your vehicles or in your community storage. Uh, so you might want to get to an outpost or your community and go find it in your storage. Uh, but if it doesn't pop up in there, just go ahead and repeat these steps and you should have no problem getting what you need. Uh, but other than the ammo, if you want to spawn a different gun, they have multiple types of guns. Um, if you're just starting out the game, there are certain guns in here that if you, like, the Cleo shotgun and the Cleo assault uh, shotgun, um, you won't be able to get those until you play Daybreak. Um, even if you spawn it, you may be able to use it, but if you drop it on the ground, you will not be able to pick it up again until you get the item in an item reward after you play uh, Daybreak and unlock it yourself. Uh, so be warned about that. Just try to get the, the basic stuff like AR-15 um, and MP5 SD. I don't know what most of these guns are. Uh, but there are some guns in here that you can only get from uh, playing some of the camp, not not the campaign, but some Daybreak and Heartland. Uh, so be warned about that. Uh, but that's about mo most of the guns there. Um, you have spawn backpacks. I usually don't need those. Again, use this at your own risk. Um, don't break it and spawn a whole bunch of items so you, you can complete everything automatically. It makes the game boring and it'll ruin your experience. Just spawn what you need. If you're running out of ammo, spin a couple rounds. Uh, just spawn a couple of things of ammo. If you if you want to get an outpost and you're trying to get more influence, I would earn it on your own. Because again, that's mainly what the game's about, earning your influence and building up your community. So I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, and I won't show you how to do that. Um, if you want to do it, you'll have to figure it out on your own. Uh, but other than that, that's how Hazemon menu works. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you guys want a tutorial on consoles like Xbox or PlayStation, let me know in the comments and I can do a little bit of research for you and post another video about that. Uh, but anyways, that's the Hazemon menu. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one.